Is it something that you, something that you saw him doing as a young that you can say, oh yeah, that's Keith right now. Like keep keep as a youngster growing into a, to an adult Keith. Like how how was he as a kid, as a child? As a child, Keith Keith was very quiet and private, and that's what he is now. He still is. Yeah, he is. he, he was very quiet and to himself, but. Keith has grown into a young man that I am very, very proud of, and he has very, very high standards. But sometimes mm -hmm. I have to tell Keith like I used to tell him when he was a child, and like my father told me, God I'll bless his soul, this is my bi biological father, you got to crawl, crawl before, before you can walk. walk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, keep, but you know, Mark, I to be. told you that, you know, I come out the gate at 60, because, you know, we talked about this with the mailroom, Mark, and how my expectation is always at 100, but you don't start right. at 100. You got to start at zero and work your way to 100. So I got to agree with that, man. I, I, that's that's one of my, my, my flaws, brothers, that I do have high expectations, and I, I do want to do things on a certain level always. And he, he Marcus and Judge, and which George, you know this, he, he gets very discouraged sometimes. But like I tell him, one thing about it, if you at that mountain and you way up here, but if you right here, the fall is not as hard. Right. So don't you know, you know, reach, sometimes you just got to reach on up, it. but kind of stay at a minimum. So when you do fall, you won't slam dunk. Right. But right. Of, most of all, always believe in God because God knows what is for you. And mm -hmm. you're going to get what is for you. And don't ever forget, don't ever give up on your dreams. Whatever dreams that you have, don't never give up on them. And George, you know, I told you that all the time. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Don't ever give up on your dreams and your hopes because what is meant for you, God is for you. Give it to you. He gonna give That's it good. to you. He might not give it to you now. You might be 70, 90 years old when you get it, but you gonna get it. Amen. No, that's Amen. what's up. That's what's up. Thank you for coming on the show, Mama. I love you. I love you too. I'll oh, see man. you one day, Marcus, in person. And George, you know I'm looking it's, forward it's to it. It's time me to come to Ripley. I yeah, need a good, I need a good old. I need a good old meal. We need to come. I need to come to Memphis in May, actually. Yeah. All right, Juicy J gonna be down there this month. Oh, no, Juicy J. Juicy oh. J, Patty Labelle. Um, I think Snoop coming. Somebody else, another big rapper coming to Memphis. In you know the best the best time to go to Memphis in May is the last weekend in May. When they doing that barbecue. Uh huh. The cook off the barbecue cook off. That's what uh -huh. I'm trying to get to. And I'm going with you. My agent is dead. Miss hey, Faye is Miss Faye. She is not going Man, to. Man, thank ever. thank y'all for 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 being so so nice and kind to my mom. Man, I appreciate you know y'all giving the opportunity for uh, her to speak on something that she's really passionate about. I really appreciate that. You know, I love your mama. Your mama is. When your mom and Miss Willie May and, and Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf was always very stoic and always very on time. He never, he ain't never say much, but what he said, he said it, and he meant it, and and you you felt it. So yeah. Don't hang up, Morgan. Tell you something. Now, Keith, I think it's I think it's cool that you would actually, um, that you would actually do that for your mom. You know, you know she's passionate about this, and you put her on the show. That's cool, man. Yeah, man. I think that's very really cool. Yes. Hey, she's a dope lady. And and one more thing, tell Sean that I hate I missed him. I'm looking forward where to is, the conversation is, with him too. Where is Saint Sean at? Sean, Sean, he wrapped up in something uh with his kids or with his job. It's something one of the two I remember. So. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, he had just sent a message came across the top of my screen. I didn't get to read it, but he just said he was sorry. He probably said why he wasn't in the show tonight, but I didn't get to read all of it. But I just seen a message he sent through our um, message thing. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna drag him down to Ripley. I'm sure he, I'm sure he'll find a lot to do. Yes, we <laughs> we gonna find all throughout to West Tennessee. Cause I hear he's famous for Saint John. I need to meet Saint John. Uh huh. Saint John. Saint John. Saint John. Yes. Saint John. You gotta wait a word. Lots to do in West Tennessee, baby. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I told, hey, I told my mom Saint John the reason why we still get to do a show. <laughs> that guy hey, the women, the women are loving that guy. Man, they be loving that nigga, don't they? Boy, that's all <laughs> right. Hey. George. Yes, sir. Can I, can I get a quick tidbit on what you think about this uh this Donald Sterling thing, this Clive Bundy thing, or this uh, affirmative action case in Michigan? Uh, I think all of them old white men that um <laughs> old white men that they have their opinions and mm-hmm. it's fine. And it's fine for them to have their opinions as long as you don't support them. Correct. Right. I mean, Anything about this uh, affirmative action case that you heard about that girl who uh, we had 3.5 or 3.8 couldn't get in Michigan University of Michigan? She needs to fire. That girl. She needs to fire another school to go to. Damn. Now she has she, really. This, I mean, this, this a black girl. Black girl. A black girl that tried to get into uh, University of Michigan. They denied her. Of course, um, um, the. There was a case, University of Michigan versus um, the United States, where they went to the Supreme Court. Supreme Court decided that Michigan did not have to 